my whole family is like big flea market, garage sale family. In my hometown, it was so boring. All I had to do was to go to the flea market as like entertainment. And my dad would go out like six in the morning, six to eight. Every weekend I'd be at the flea market with my dad and then he'd give me 10 bucks and I'd be like, all right, what do I buy? Like I'm here, what do I get? I only have 10 bucks. I think pretty much then is when I started buying pins and weird shit like that. I would see like metal bands that I liked and shit. Dudes always had their pins on their jackets. Guns N' Roses, Slash had a bunch of pins on his shit. As a little kid, be like, damn, I wanna have some sick pins like that, you know? All these jackets have been through hell. Never washed it. it. Just smells a little bit. Slayer. And the collar. Devil. Jack Daniels. Samurai. Baphomet and a bat. It all goes together. I don't know if you can see it, but that's a rainbow Grim Reaper. Some dice. War. And the skull's eyes with the ace of spades and a fucking grenade. And this shit, I stabbed into there. It's not a pin, but I made it one. No one's got this. Cholo Playboy Bunny. This one I paid five bucks for, because I really wanted it. Like some of them even have like band-aids and tape and shit to stay on. All these are from around the world, like everywhere I go. New York City, big ass bat. Probably from here, but I found it in Japan. This is from Italy in a German town. Pretty much says like hell from above. That's why that cat's on top of that skull. You can't go in there and be like, let me see your Nazi pins or let me see your racist pins. She ain't gonna pull them out and be like, oh, you got anything from Germany? She's like this little Asian lady. She'll pull this shit out. I'm not racist, I got a colored TV. Freddy Krueger glove. This is from a quarter machine. Freddy face, I'm gonna make that into a pin. That was a ring. I don't even have a back to it. And that's Eddie. There's the Black Sabbath one, some sketchy ass one, 666. It has a witch. This is a witch, if you can see it or not. Toilet seat. I had one of a guy taking a shit on a toilet and it got broke, broken. If you wanted to have a fucking bat on a pillar, boom. And these ones are like the ones that don't go on the jacket. This one's like the my most favorite one right here, just because I love Merciful Fate. And nobody has this one at all. And I got it in Mexico City. This was all around St. Mark's forever. Then it just disappeared. Tasmanian devil with a fucking gun. My mom gave me this one, a buck knife. This is a fly fishing bait. Like if you're selling like shirts, you could see the shirts from far away, you know? But if you're selling pins, you have to like look for them. You know, you have to like dig around for them. They're not out there like that. So it's like, it's kind of more of a intimate thing because you got to like kind of look for it if you really want it. You just got to find them. And I feel like it's definitely a thing of the past. At one point it was like a big thing, you know? So people were like, all right, give me fucking a million of these. So they have like all these other ones left over and they don't know what to do with them. They just keep them there at the store behind a door or something. And you know, like then I come in and get them. 